Warning, Pro Armor doors do not guarantee safety. You must always wear the proper safety gear, including seat belts and helmets. If any doors come open at any time, you need to stop immediately. Return at a safe speed to a safe place and determine the cause. If no cause is determined, do not operate the vehicle. Please contact Pro Armor. If you should have any questions regarding installing or operating your slam latch kit, please call us at 1-888-312-7667. Preparation and Installation The slam latches are designed to fit between the roll cage A pillar and the aluminum bracket of the Pro Armor door frame. Lay out all of the components that come in the kit and verify that everything is correct according to the parts list. Tools required 14mm socket and ratchet for cage bolts 14mm wrench for cage bolts 10 mm socket and ratchet for slam latch bolts. 10 mm wrench for slam latch and button head nuts. 5 8 wrench for slam latch pin. 15 16 or adjustable wrench for jam nut. 4 mm allen wrench for button head bolts. Take one of the rotary latches, two of the hex head bolts and hex nuts Installing the latch on one of the slam latch brackets, driver or passenger, and repeat on the other side. Remove and discard the two flanged head bolts that are currently installed in the Pro Armor door frame and the A pillar of the vehicle, driver or passenger depending on what side you are installing. Retain the two nuts. Sandwich the slam latch bracket between the door and the A pillar, then loosely install two of the flanged hex head bolts from your slam latch kit reusing the nuts from the A-pillar. Take one slam latch pin and one 5 8 jam nut, then screw the nut all the way on the pin, leaving it loose. Repeat for the other pin. Install the slam latch pin into the welded tab on the door until the door is able to close without the pin interfering with the door frame bracket. Warning! Close the door so that the latch pin is fully locked and engaged making sure there is no play in the release lever. With the slam latch loosely installed, you can now start to align the latch pin with the slam latch. Warning! Adjust the latch pin by screwing it either in or out until the latch pin head protrudes through the slam latch but does not interfere with the door frame or the slam latch itself. If needed, move the slam latch bracket forward or backwards to align the latch pin. With the door shut and no binding of the slam latch and pin, begin tightening the two flanged hex head bolts at the A-pillar. Tighten all of the hardware, making sure to tighten the jam nut on the latch pin and all of the hardware connecting the rotary latch to the slam latch bracket. Cycle the door open and shut to verify that the latch fully engages when the door is shut and that there is no binding. Once the final position of the bracket has been determined and the door functions properly, you can drill a quarter inch hole into the aluminum door frame bracket at the A pillar to match the hole provided in the slam latch bracket. Once the hole is drilled, take one button head bolt and one nylock flanged hex nut, installing them through the door frame bracket and the slam latch bracket. <laughs>